the Chinese auto industry continues to conquer world markets. If you don't have to be surprised at budget cars or middle-class cars from China, then the public looks at premium-class cars from the celestial empire somehow still warily. But the attractive price of Chinese cars, as well as a pleasant appearance, attract buyers. And now, on the streets of cities there are more and more cars from China, and now there are premium cars. Tuareg, Cayenne or Q7. One of the flagships of the Chinese auto industry in the field of premium cars has become the Havel H8 model. Havel is a brand of Chinese SUV company Great Wall, as in the situation that Toyota once found itself forced to create the Lexus brand for the American market. Great Wall had to create the Havel brand to emphasize the prestige of cars manufactured under the newly formed brand. Simply put, Great Wall and Havel are essentially made by the same company. But under the first name there are middle-class cars, everyday workhorses, and under the second name there are prestigious cars, or at least cars that are positioned as prestigious. Model H8 cannot be called new. It was first presented at the Beijing Auto Show in 2013. Russian motorists were able to see the H8 a year later, at a motor show in Moscow. It is noteworthy that the car, not having time to really go into the series, has already managed to become famous twice. Firstly, the Havel H8 model took part in the filming of the Hollywood blockbuster The Expendables 3. Secondly, on the basis of the H8, the Havel Dakar car was created, which took part in the legendary world off-road race. In the appearance of the H8, everyone sees their own, someone catches the resemblance to the Touareg, someone notices that Havel is similar to the Cayenne in some details, someone draws an analogy with the Q7 from Audi. The thing is that Chinese car designers still continue to draw inspiration from looking at models of cars from the world's leading brands. The original Chinese car design has not yet been formed, but there is nothing wrong with that. For example, Russian automakers have always worked according to the same scheme. The only difference is that the Chinese are trying not to use full copying of specific models, we are talking about the case with the H8. They, like people who make collages, try to identify the most interesting elements in each model and combine the best. Judging by the appearance of H8, this approach to business was fully implemented. The car turned out to be rich, modern, sporty. Dimensions H8 belongs to the class of mid-size crossovers. The dimensions of the model are appropriate. The wheelbase of the car is 2,915 mm, and the total length of the vehicle is 4,806 mm. Indeed, the size is average. Vehicle width, 1975 mm, and the height is 200 mm less than the width. Due to the fact that the car is available in all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive versions, some parameters may have a different meaning, just depending on the version of the model. So the clearance of the all-wheel drive H8 is 210 mm, and for the rear-wheel drive, 197. In any of the options, the car is quite suitable for a difficult country road. Exterior. The appearance of the H8 is quite serious. Facial features are large, a massive and wide false radiator grille, a large bumper with thick reinforcement. Eyes only against the background of all this greatness are too small, but expressive. Expressiveness is achieved through the combination of diode strip running lights with fog lights. In general, despite the fact that the H8 is a mid-size crossover, most of the details that shape the appearance are made according to the principle, the more massive, the more solid and better. That does not spoil the picture at all. Salon. When creating a salon for the H8, the Chinese comrades also did a pretty good job. They did not begin to make a 7-seater or 9-seater salon. And, given the size of the car, a large number of seats for passengers would be inappropriate. But for five people, there is more than enough space in the H8 cabin. The sofa at the back can accommodate very large people. It is a pity that there is no rear seat adjustment system. But the driver and front passenger have the opportunity to adjust the seat position so that you can feel comfortable even during a long trip. Dashboard elements fit well. The upholstery is made using high quality and durable leather. Complete set. H8 is offered to the consumer in two trim levels. Standard equipment is not standard at all. It includes a variety of functions and devices that domestic cars will not be equipped with for a long time. In particular, the base includes light and rain sensors, xenon, heated electric mirrors, cruise, three-zone climate control, rear-view camera, the ability to start the engine from a button, a driver tracking system for fatigue. If this is not enough, 
then you can purchase a luxury package that complements the base with the following features. Heated windshield, electric trunk, seats with memory, side mirrors with the function of changing the angle of inclination when reversing. 